2021 Virtual Regional Science Fair Awards. My name is Cheryl Lindemann, and I'm the director of the fair, but there's a host of people that have made this possible, and you'll learn more about them. We're very grateful tonight that our virtual host is Central Virginia Governor School Lobby, along with our four senior ambassadors, Ben, Andrew, and where's Brooke? She's there too. And they're helping us guide us through our journey tonight. Very unusual of what we're doing, but you know, we can persevere. And so I want you to think about the word persevere as we go through the first part of our program tonight. So without further delay, I will share my screen and let's get started. So for this evening, our presentation will be in two parts, mainly because we need a Zoom break. So the first part of our program is all about the category award winners and those students who are going to be nominated to the state science fair. So if you look at this photo, um, the date on the photo is March 4th, 2021. And it's the same day that the judges from our regional science fair started to look at all of our participants' folders. This photo, of course, is pers from Perseverance there on Mars. Kind of neat if you think about it. So while the judges were looking through your projects and we had 75 projects they were looking at, that same day, Perseverance was very curious as to what was happening. So let's go ahead and look at our categories and I'm going to announce the categories in order um, that we had them in our database. So can we have the next slide please? Um, so this first category is going to be animal sciences and we had two projects in this category and the first one was Virginia Blair Prost and she was animal science one and our second project was Julie Fitzgerald and so I'm very pleased to share with you the judges um, deliberations and the next slide please and the winners are, let's go, back, there we go. Um, first place is VB and second place is Julie. Um, if you're there, let's give them a hand, virtual hand. Okay. Um, the next category is behavior on social science. So in this category, there were, um, can we hold for just a minute? And um, can we make sure, yes. And I wanna stop just for a minute. There we go. Okay, thank you. Uh, I wanna make sure with my participants that we are recording this session tonight um, so we can have it on um, edit and go back into YouTube. So can we make sure it is recording? My co-host, can you give me a thumbs up? It looks like it's recording on each of our laptops. Thank you. Uh, it should go to the cloud. Or that. Okay. Thank you very much. So we will continue now. Behavior on social sciences. There were 16 projects within this category. The judges um, had a morning session, an afternoon session, but all of the projects were put together into one category awards. So let's go through who were the uh, participants in behavior and social science. Eleanor McFadder, Liani Rucker, Peter Garrison, Sarah Blair, Amanda Powell, 
Alasia Oaks, Jacob Williams, Kylie Mopin, Elliot Putnam. Benjamin McGuire, Eric Copy, Ella Wesolowski, Hannah Taylor, Anna Sloan. Alex Taylor, Camden Good. And now the category winners for behavioral and social sciences are Sarah's first place, Anna second place, Ella third place, and honorable mention, Jacob Williams. Let's give them a hand. The next category is uh, chemistry. In this, chemis in this category, we had one outstanding project and the judges clearly approved this student receiving. And the next slide, this is Hannah Kim. And the award she received from the judges is first place. Congratulations, Hannah. The next category is computer science and mathematics. We had some very outstanding projects, very interesting projects, and the judges thoroughly enjoyed reviewing them and talking with the students. Jack Wimmer. Lily Van Bergen, Spencer Cook, Elijah Bradner, Isaiah, excuse me, Bradner, Isaiah Bradner. Bethany Duncan, Chandler O'Rourke, Prentice Carter, Team Project, Spencer Kearns and Abby Wyatt. And the winners are first place, Bethany, second place, Isaiah, third place, Lily, and honorable mention, Jack. Congratulations. Now, let me just say that there are cash awards for each one of these category winners. That's something kind of nice, right? So our grand sponsor, is Framatone and they are the grand sponsor of all of the category winners. First place, $75. Second place, $50. Third place, $25. And honorable mention, it's $20. So that's some good cash. And we will make sure that all of the winners are able to get their cash awards from their respective schools. And that will be happening over the next week. So I just thought I'd put that in as a commercial break. So we're ready to go on to energy and transportation. Energy and transportation had two projects this year. The first one is Pranav 
Dothy. And the second project is Grace Steele. And the judges reviewed those two projects and assigned the following category winnings. First place, Pranav, and second place, Grace. Congratulations. Next category is engineering. In this category, we have the following projects. 13 of them, Grant Helm, Austin Wright, Henry Scruggs, Tartik Sadu, Ethan Gardner, Ina Lynch, Jade Persona, Jared Newcomb, Andrew Tabor, William Gregory, Teddy Lou, Maggie Zhang, and Andrew Flutemont. The judges deliberated, and here are the winners. First place is Jade. Second, third place is William Gregory. And honorable mention is Maggie Zhang. Congratulations. We're now going on to environmental sciences. We have eight projects. The first one is Sarah Holt, Lauren Knoll, Eugene Kim, Jeffrey Wooters, Elora Brochette, Ella Lewis. Alina Branham. And the final project in the environmental science category is Eden Hunter. As you could see, there were a variety of different topics that were addressed with the environment. So let's see who the judges said would get the awards. First place, Eugene. Second place, Jeffrey. Third place, Ella, and honorable mention, Kalina. Congratulations. In medicine and health, we had six categories. Excuse me, six projects. Our first one, Skyla, Skyler Farrar. Lauren Bosson,
Leanne Ranger. Brady Mandeville. Sarah Spradlin. And Lance Martin. And let's see who the winners will be in the medicine and health category. There are two winners. First place, Leanne Ranger. And a third place, Lance Martin. Congratulations. In microbiology, we have four projects. Brooke Coleman, Avery Rourke, Ryan Beck, and Reagan Morford. And the judges awarded the following. Let's see if this is going to go here. We're waiting for the next slide. There's Ryan's and the, the winners, whoops, I will stop. It's Ryan, Reagan, and the winners are third place, Brooke Coleman, and honorable mention, Ryan Beck. Congratulations. Now, for those of you who are visiting us who are unaware of how these students actually did their projects, it was truly amazing to hear them tell their stories. They definitely persevered, remember I'm using that word again, uh, doing their projects, how they were going to do their work here at their uh, schools, and then what they were allowed to do safely at home. Very interesting and the kind of technology that they had to do. So um, we want to keep that in mind. It's very, very um, interesting to see what they were able to do. And they eloquently told their stories. They told their stories to the judges on Saturday, March 6th. And then there were a group of 22 students who were invited back for the first ever virtual quick rounds. And that was yesterday afternoon. And we had a delightful time with our partners uh, on our panels, we talked with the young people in groups of seven, and we really had a good time. So students, I'm really excited that you were able to enjoy that for those of you who are invited back. So that's the commercial break. Let's go on to physics and astronomy. We have six projects in the, in the physics and astronomy, so let's see who they are. Broadway at its best now. We're trying here. Miss um, Patrick from Campbell County is, is my tech support back here. Okay, there's interference. So we're just going to continue on. So here we are in physics and astronomy. Okay, we're going to take that off. Okay. And the first project is Jillian Nyland. Walker Stebbings. Landon Epperson. Brian, Kate, Ben Maddox. Now, if you're wondering about all these slides, each one of the students had to submit their slides. 
as a, a file and then we just plopped them in. So they were very much part of this um, ceremony tonight. So you wanna know who the winners are, right? Okay, let's check on. Here we go, physics and astronomy. First place, Jillian. Second place, Landon. And third place, Brian. Congratulations. This is our last category, plant sciences. We have a total of seven projects. The first one is Pablo Alanis. Our Leah Wagner. Are you to are you my Beverly Beverly Eborn and a team project Maya Martin and Zoe Silva. Uh, let's go back here for a minute. There's Lily, Lily Dobler. Sorry about that. Sydney Fairchild. There's Pablo. You're unmuted. <laughs> Beverly and Maya and Zoe. So we're up to date, everyone. My tech support, thank you. And the category winners for plant sciences are Beverly first place, Lily second place, Pablo third place, Arlie honorable mention. Congratulations. Now, in this last part of the segment, we are going to name the students who have been nominated by the judges and the review panel from yesterday to represent Central Virginia Regional Science Fair at the State Science Fair. So the State Science Fair will be virtual. It will be April 10th, and it's sponsored by Virginia Tech's uh, Carilion Medical um, Partnership. All of the students who are nominated will package up their materials virtually, of course, and this time we'll beam them up to another location, and that will be with Virginia Tech. Now, I will tell the students that they will get communication from me over the next five days, and in doing that, you will um, understand what you have to do with your projects to submit them to state. It is possible that you may have to make a few adjustments, but we're so proud of you of what you have done and putting all your materials together. So for those of you who are joining us who are not a student who's worked on a project, they had to create an abstract. They had to write um, a project review and have it reviewed by the scientific review committee. They had a, a total project board or a project report. They also did their uh, Google slide. And finally, they had a five minute video that they made. So that was pretty intense. So we're really proud of them of what they were able to do. But in each case of what we've done with these projects, we've always kept the students in mind and understand of how they're able to persevere to make their projects happen. So we're very excited for that. And also we can't leave out the teachers who are involved on the research side, the supply side, and also tech support. So for the next slide, there are two slides. We have 18 projects that are nominated for state this year. 
That is the highest number that we've ever nominated. And we met our full quota. Now you have to understand students that some years, the judges say, no, it's not a project that can compete well at state. This year, every one of the 18 slots were filled. So hats off to you, we're very proud of you. So I'm going to present them in two slides because there's so many they won't fit on one slide. And after I do that, I'm going to stop sharing and um, my tech support seniors, uh, when I stop sharing, what we'd love for those students who are going on to state to do is ask them to um, show their screen and we can give them a real hello. All right. And so we have Pravna, Pranav, excuse me, Jade, William, Eugene, Jeffrey, Landon, Lily, and Beverly. And I, I think I mentioned Grace, but I'll go back and make sure. And for the next nine, there we go. And here's the last nine. Vivi, Julie, Hannah, Sarah, Leanne, Anna, Jillian, Isaiah, and Bethany. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing for a moment. And if your name was called to be a nominee for the virtual state science fair, we'd love for you to let us see you. Are you there? Yes. So, um, Andrew, why don't you let everybody unmute and let everybody give a round of applause. Yeah, if you would like to unmute right yourself on the table. That would be the time. Give a little applause. Hello, everyone. Let's go, Landon. <laughs> nice job. Nice job. Okay, so we have a few to end up with, and there's Dr. Smith there. He has been our extra tech support. Let's give him a hand too. Yes, on this end. He's we're because we're in the lobby. We're doing this. All right, that's pretty cool. Are we have um, one more part to do and then we will take our break. So I'm sorry that went forward in a crazy way. And um, there's our state winners. So what we wanted to share with you is this is mission control. And we have had a great time doing this process, but there's a lot of people that supported us and we're gonna recognize them in the next um, series that will start at 7.30. So we can have a little screen break and celebration. Um, so we look forward to seeing you at 7.30 at this same link. Thank you so much. <laughs>